was uh, about 160 miles an hour, so I had enough smack to do half an outside loop out of that one. That's uh, so awesome. Get ready to hear this again. The Smoky Mountain Air Show back at McGee Tyson Airport this weekend. I love the yeah. That's where we find Ryan Katane this morning. <laughs> Live from a fighter jet. That is so cool. Good morning. Abby, let me tell you, I'm just having so much fun. Mike has been out here with me all morning as well. We've really been having a blast out here. But the folks who actually, you know, get this all done, I'm here with Colonel Lee Hartley. So tell us where we're sitting right now. This plane that we're in is just so huge. What can you tell us about it? All right, so you're sitting in the in the very front end of the cockpit of a KC-135 Stratotanker. And so the simple explanation is, is it's a flying gas station. And we do that for the United States Air Force. Yeah, and so you were kind of telling me a little bit about when people think of the Air Force, maybe they have a certain image in mind, but there's so many different roles that make the Air Force. So can you tell us about some of those? Yeah, as, as an example, in, in, our, in the refueling wing here, uh, we'll have roughly, I'm going to say 70 to 80 at any given time, 70 to 80 crew members that actually fly the aircraft. Well, within the wing itself, there, there are over just under 1,200 folks, right? And so it takes all of that to make it happen. And it's everything, avionics mechanics, jet engine mechanics, crew chiefs, any of the litany that goes along with just the airplane. And then that doesn't even begin to touch the support functions, security forces, communications. Uh, we have finance, doctors, lawyers, all of that it takes it's almost it's its own city in, in many ways yeah and you'll get to meet a lot of these people at the smoky mountain air show that kicks off tomorrow lasts through sunday so very briefly can you just give us an overview of what kind of performances and what people can expect yeah absolutely so the the gates will open in the morning uh all the way if you hear nothing else from me smokymountainairshow.com but the gates will open in the morning we'll get folks on there's a lot of airplanes to see here that are not only some some of the civilians some of the old warbirds and then cer certainly currently what we're flying here as well air force navy army all those certain aircraft as well there's things for the kids there's a kid zone there's uh there'll be some simulators that, that people can uh, partake in and kind of enjoy it together and then Right around 11 o'clock, weather permitting, and, and we're, we're hoping so, Mike, so I, <laughs> uh, I'm counting on you. Uh, no, but weather permitting, we're going to uh, we're gonna kick things off right around 11 or so, and then about 11, just before noon, uh, all the flying acts are, are scheduled to perform. Of course, that culminates at the end of the day with the Blue Angels. Oh, my gosh, so exciting. All right, you heard him. He said SmokyMountainAirShow.com. We also have all of the information up on WBIR.com. Abby? All right. Thank you very much, Ryan. What a morning, y'all.